Good morning. Welcome to day three of our time here in London, England. Just checking on the time. It is currently 9.50 in the morning and things on our list of things to do today are to go to Buckingham Palace. Other places are Biscuitiers, which is a tea room. We're also going to Harrods to pick up tea as well. They have a tea room there. Um, what else are we doing? I need to see the list. Hold on. Today's Tuesday. Hold on. December 5th. December 5th. December 5th. Yes. And then we're also going to be going to Chelsea, which is like a neighborhood area um, in London. And this place called Choosing Keep, which is a stationery store. And I think possibly Notting Hill um, and a couple other places. So it's gonna be pretty busy. First stop is definitely the post office. We need to get more money, which is pounds. Um, and if you ever need to convert, you know, get like the correct currency, I would say do it before you leave or post offices in London give you the best rates with little to no fees. Everywhere else you're gonna get charged a fee, even if it says no fees, because your bank will will give, will charge you that. So, yeah, sorry the camera's a little bit shaky. Um, I had tea this morning with some avocado toast and eggs, and I just finished getting ready, so we are going to head out. I think the first place that I'll see you at is Buckingham Palace. Did a really good job of my makeup today. You gonna record me too? No, record. And take a picture? Just take a picture of the Ticket hall level. Please have your tickets ready. <laughs>
to get in the middle. So just keep your finger on yeah. there. But let's go closer to this. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, okay. Where do you want to go? Ready? So we just made it to Buckingham Palace and as you saw there's a choir here that did two songs and we're now just kind of chilling out by Buckingham Palace. It is insanely beautiful. There's a lot of tours here. Um, it's honestly not that cold. Come, you know, the coat is deceiving, but it is beautiful. I highly recommend visiting if you ever come to London.
we just got back and it is currently 7 30. it has been so dark outside since about 3 34 o'clock i'll show you how dark it is yeah it is super dark um i am so incredibly oh my head um so incredibly tired i we got sam's chicken again except this time we went to the convenience store and got snapple god loves me because he's allowing me to find mango snapple well my family and i call it mango but mango uh, snapple so i'm gonna have that with some chicken and plan our trip tomorrow i think we're really done walking walking is a lot here now i understand when they mean a car is a luxury it really is in a city like this and a city like new york it is a luxury and you need to have the proper walking shoes and i just don't i don't have good walking trainers um, in general so and I've always wanted the Reebok trainers they look really cool so I'm definitely gonna invest in those for sure because right about now um, right about now my feet would love me to have those trainers and I would love my feet to love me because <laughs> right now my feet hate me um, but yeah today was we didn't get to do that much we went to the post office got some money then we went to buckingham palace and then after that we went to harrods and we spent majority of our time in there because it's a huge shop shopping mall and we got a bunch of tea and a couple other things there um got some late lunch early yeah late late lunch got there around like 1 30 got out about 3 30 and it looked about evening like the sun was starting to set um so then we took a bus over to chelsea soho area and it was just pitch black by the time we got there which was like 20 minutes later close to four so then walked around for like maybe 15 20 minutes and then i decided we should just head home um that's my grandma who you can hear right now um decided to just kind of head home and now it is 7 30. we got stuck in traffic on the bus um decided not to take the tube we were supposed to go to the sky garden i didn't realize until i got home that i saw the tickets and i was like oh yeah that was today that would have been really cool but i plan on coming back to London anyway because it's a really cool place and I have a better idea of where I would want to stay next time when I come visit so yeah we just need better trainers and take more Ubers I would highly highly suggest because public transportation although it is great it takes about an hour to get to places um, and if you're not familiar and you're a tourist and you're trying to figure things out on your own and not do the whole tours and stuff, it, you know, if you're like, oh, I want to go here and then I want to go there, I want to go there, it's like an hour commute each way, you know, you know, navigating yourself across the city. So London is large just compared to the commute with, you know, the bus and the tube and all that stuff. So... I think we're gonna sign off here and I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully in Bath. Bye!